I've been imprisoned for years, trapped in a nightmare, shackled by one man's greed. But now, I'll have my revenge. Nara, and today we're doing Dark Parables Queen of Sands. Now before I get into this, I do want to say thank you to Blossom, a uh, newer member of our family here. Um, I, I'm not going to try to pronounce the second part of her name, but she's been very active in our comment section, and if I'm correct, is the first person who is not part of my personal friend circle to subscribe. <laughs> so that's awesome. We're getting a little attention. Um, also, Blossom has told us various things in the comment section that we may have missed. Uh, you can definitely go back and read some of her comments. They're pretty awesome. Um, just to mention one that was pretty important that I saw was um, Gwyn, which was the guy who was um, helping out Gerda when we were saving Flora for the extra game in um, Rapunzel is actually Snow White's son. Bam! Explain so much. <laughs> uh, yeah. So anyways, alright. Just wanted to give that shout out. Thanks, Blossom, for being part of our community. I, I'm really glad that you enjoy the videos. Alright. <clears throat> so, today, like I said, Dark Parables Queen of Sands. Now, when I saw this title, I was a little confused. I was like, is that a fairy tale that I don't know about? Because, you know, normally the name kind of gives away at least what one of the fairy tales in the story is about because by now everybody knows blue tea puts at least two or three fairy tales in each dark parable and then kind of tries to just wrap them all up together it's beautiful anyways so i looked up what the game like what the main fairy tale was nothing else because i didn't want to spoil myself um it is apparently uh, but it is uh, la, 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 my language skills. <laughs> it is a mix between the Sandman, you know, that guy that puts you to sleep, and Beauty and the Beast. So I'm actually really excited. All right. Whew. All right, let's get into this. I, uh, if you saw that opening, though, there was some red material that belongs to... Uh, you know, I would say the capes of some certain Red Riding Hood sisters. Alright, alright, let's, let's get into this. I'm already excited. <clears throat> okay. Alright, so our extra game that we will, of course, play after is the Seven Ravens. Okay. <laughs> Not sure what that is about. We'll find out when we get there. Let's, let's jump right in. Alright, uh, let's do custom. Oh, yeah, see, right there, already. Already. Like, a Red Riding Hood sister right freaking there. Right in our face. Alright, guys. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, we're gonna make everything easy, because, you know, if I'm gonna cheat, I'm gonna cheat the right way, which is completely and totally. Show all tutorials, show objectives, show area of interest, show sparkles, uh, contextual contextual pointers turn off for extreme difficulty we're not doing extreme difficulty um show helpful messages indicate plus uh items all right <clears throat> let's do this uh you can change the difficulty mode during the game by selecting the menu button in the lower left corner all right i'm excited let's do it who are you you kind of look like you might be a dude, but you might be a chick. I don't know. I'm only getting your side profile, but we'll find out. Yeah. <clears throat> Recap? Detective, two days ago, we received strange reports of unexplainable phenomena occurring in the town of Montefleur. Several people witnessed a beast of incredible strength roaming the town and the surrounding forest. 
others mentioned shadowy creatures appearing from a mist. Yesterday, we lost all contact with Montefleur. Your mission is to investigate the strange events in Montefleur and put a stop to them. The Red Riding Hood sisters are also there. Their help would be invaluable to your investigation. Uh, every time! <sighs> every time! Every time! Stop! Detective, long time no see. I'm glad you're here. You were poisoned the, the first time we saw you too. I'm, are you poisoned again? <sighs> okay, time to save you! <laughs> Red Riding Hood sisters. I'm so excited. Okay. <clears throat> do you want to view the tutorial? Yes. Yes, I do. I do. Okay. When you see a speech bubble, you may talk to a character. What if I don't want to talk to Ruth? No, I do. I want to talk to Ruth. It's Ruth. She's the leader of the Red Riding Hood sisters. My wound isn't deep. A few leaves from a healing flower would help. Can you find some? I love how she's a leader of the Red Riding Hood sisters, but she gets, like, poisoned all the time. Okay, no, it's only been two times as far as I know, but, like, every time we meet her... Are we just a bad luck, a bad luck charm for Ruth? Oh my goodness, what if we are? Ruth, don't die! Here. Use my knife to gather them. Okay, cool, I will. Take the knifey thing. Alright, chapter one! You'll see magnifying glasses when you can examine an area. Examine the base of the tree. Isn't this the tree that just attacked us? It was all shadowy and stuff? And it was scary? But we're gonna- there's a healing flower next to it. Okay, I guess that's convenient. You found a plus item. They can be examined further and even combined with other items. Oh, okay, so they're marking them now. That's pretty cool. The healing flower Ruth needs, but only the leaves are medicine. Okay. So we're just collecting the leaves. Got it. Anything else I want to look at here? Cross swords. How very, uh... What did that say? Heraldic? Alright, let's go ahead and help Ruth real quick. There! They should dull the- that should dull the pain. <clears throat> Thanks, Detective. The Red Riding Hood sisters are investigating that beast. But it's only been a disaster so far. We're staying in a cottage nearby. Follow me. Okay! So, over there. Awesome. I wanna look over here, though. I imagined a, <laughs> I'd imagine a crest of Montefleur belongs here. I'm probably gonna say Montefleur wrong like a bajillion times. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Harold Montefleur achievement. Uh, okay. One of thirty-six. What what does it do? Does it just give me an achievement like last time? Well, whatever. I'll try to find all of them anyways. Screw it! I'm a completionist sometimes, not always. <laughs> um, erected in honor of Baron Hubert de Montefreux, uh, founder of Montefreux, Hubert de Montefreux's legendary perfumes uh, revolutionized the industry. The Baron used his riches to construct this beautiful city which has since become a center for culture and fashion. His spirit lives on through his son, Eric de Montefleur. <laughs> Montefleur was made world famous by Hubert de Montefleur's perfume. Everyone knows about them. Okay, I guess Mr. Montefleur is, um, his world famous perfume in this world. Got it. <clears throat> um... What does it say? Write this fragrance producer over a hundred different scents. We create perfumes designed especially for you. Come and smell our dream. That sounds kind of weird, smelling dreams. But, you know, whatever. Let's keep going. As always, this game's beautiful, by the way. Um, r really? Are you... S oh, 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 crap! Um, bye! Holy- Uh! Too much happening! 
Too much happening! <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, so... One of the other Red Riding Sisters got kidnapped by the Beast thing, and then Ruth got shoved into the cottage, and then this magical purple gray lady appeared, and now there's a giant wolf in front of the door. Isn't the Red Riding Sisters supposed to get rid of wolves? What? What's going on here? I don't understand. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna calm down. I'm actually just really excited. Um, <laughs> alright. If you're stuck, press the hint button. I don't, I don't need to. Oh! I can't fight him head on, but maybe I can make him back off. I, I don't know how you want to do that. Um, the mailbox is missing some kind of uh, decoration on the front. Um, that's a mailbox? I, I guess it is. The beast threw Ruth into the cottage. I've got to make sure she'll be alright. Ah, uh, yeah, I can't get any closer. Let's go back. Can I, can I get that? No, I can't. Uh, no, I don't want to look at the guide. Actually, I do. Alright, we got one parable. They're hiding them really good now, so I actually do use the guide to find them. <clears throat> oh, wow. They're really intricate. Nice. Okay. <sighs> Let's continue. Mm, crap. This is not good. No ordinary mist. An evil presence is surrounding it. Lavender field. Oh, that's just where we came from, isn't it? Yeah, I am actually slightly stuck. What am I supposed to be doing here? Oh. What am I poke? You want me to poke at him? Oh, no! Okay, I spread the fire. Okay. It jumped back from the fire. I think I have an idea. We're, we're gonna set things on fire? Are we setting things on fire? I could make a torch out of this, but I need an oiled cloth. Uh, what? <laughs> mm, can I get closer here? Yes, now I can get closer. Uh, part of the ring is missing. I wonder if a giant statue is buried under this land. Uh, <laughs> that would be interesting. <clears throat> nope, that's not what that goes to. Be smarter, Lara. Be smarter. Um, let me see. Maybe? Yes. Holy crap. That's scary looking. Um, press the question mark button during mini games to read the instructions. Got it. Complete the mural by swapping the far the fran the fan ah the fan parts. You may select any two parts to swap them. Okay, let me see. Cool. Alright. Yes, I know. Um no, that's not it. Hmm. Here we go. I at least know those go there. Okay, cool. Okay, whatever that did. The citizens transformed into living nightmares. What could uh, do something like that? Oh, so that's what happened to them. They all turned into nightmares. Great. <clears throat> Are you the detective? I've been waiting for you. Let's talk. <gasps> ah! Oh no! Old lady! Well, that was, um... Uh, old lady, are you okay? I don't see the old lady. Maybe she got away. Okay. As always, with our uh, hidden objects, today we are building things. The flint and steel. Uh, so, uh, as I always explain, in hidden object games, this is what they're named after. Where you literally find objects. And a lot of them, you're just finding useless bits and pieces. Um, just to more or less find one good piece. Uh, but I like hidden... <clears throat> I like the hidden object um, games in Dark Parables because they actually have you build an item that you need. Alright, so let's, uh, let's get right into it. <clears throat> mm. 
<clears throat> what did we get? Flint and steel. I should have already known that because it showed me before. Uh, this marble statue, statue probably broke during the commotion. All right, we're going to come back and look at this later. We're going to go save Ruth first. Yeah, I already read that. I don't, I don't need I don't need you to click on it all the time. Okay. Bam. Bam. Oh, I, that's right. I still need a cloth. Good job, Lara. You know how to do things. All right, let's go back. Um, give me that cloth. What is this? What a curious lock. Uh, oil cloth. Okay, it has oil on it already. Let's go ahead and go back and do this. Alrighty, already, already. Then, bam. Nice. Alright, we got it. We can use it on him. Go away. Okay, well, um, we got closer at least. <laughs> ah, but we have to find another way. Give me that. It seems an ornate piece uh, has fallen off. No Riri. But yeah, there's a giant hand right there, which is why I guess why we were like, yeah, a giant statue underground. Uh, which is actually... Pretty, probably, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. It's huge, though. Holy crap. Okay. Let's continue on. Oh, there she is. I'm glad she wasn't hurt. A mist has fallen upon this town. One that twists everything it touches into a nightmare. However, I found a pouch of sand that reverses the spell. Don't believe me? Try it on these moths. Yay! Here, you'll need it. I I'm going to the perfume factory. Perhaps we can use it to disperse this sand over the town. Thank you! If this sand works on those moths, maybe I, I can solve my wolf problems. Nice, all right. Let's get rid of it. Do it so we can get into the main game. So we can get into the game. All right, just a little, oh wow, you grabbed a lot. Um, probably shouldn't have grabbed that much, but okay. Oh, look at you, you're so cute. Are you one of the Red Riding Hood wolves? Wait a minute, that's uh, Ruth's wolf. The purple mist must have transformed him into a monster. Uh, Shadow seems happy to see me. It's been a while since I last visited the sisters. Cool. Hi, Shadow. To train, to protect, and to honor. If I'm not mistaken, this is the insignia of the Red Riding Hood sisters. Alright, so I need the insignia to get in. Get my things! Alright. No. Uh, alright. Anything else in this area? Alright, the next one isn't until we get in the cabin. Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> Moving forward. Let's give you this. Okay, cool. Alright. Let's go see if Ruth is okay. I think we have all the pieces for it anyways. We might not. Uh, oh, no we don't. Okay. This is for a different thing. Okay. <clears throat> That's fine. Do we have the map yet? It doesn't look like it. I guess we have to find it. That's that lock, uh, handle, doe crest, stag crest. Uh, did, is this where these go? I'm afraid I'll have to rethink it. The bakery crests have fallen off the lock. I don't have either of those. Give me that. Oh, here's the map. Awesome. Uh, 
I can't get a good grip to pull it out of there. Mm, I don't have anything to pull it out with right now. Uh, this is a gear missing. I can't use the crane without it. Well then, that sucks. I can't, yeah, I can't go any further. That is, that sucks. Okay, this is for the, uh, the statue though. Bam. All right, all right, give me things. I need this for, no, I'm a, uh, that's where it goes. Okay, it was the other one. All right. <clears throat> Bam. Awesome. We should be able to get in now. Unless there's like a third part. Alrighty, alrighty. Cool. Of course there's a puzzle. <laughs> Advance the story by finding the missing elements shown in the bubbles. Uh, interact with objects in the scene to find hidden items. Okay. Oh, okay, that's cool. Tetebez. Hmm. There's another teddy bear. There's a feather. Um. Oh, there's the, the third bear. I need to find more feathers. Hmm. Little boy. Where is the other feather? Oh, right there. Right in front of my face. Aw, go to sleep, little boy. Candles. Okay. Oh, okay. I see what this is. Music notes. Oh, that looks scary. Trap the evil lady. Awesome. Now we can go in. Ruth, are you okay? Ruth, I'm glad she's alright. It's time to compare notes. That beast took Brienne. This is getting worse by the minute. We searched everywhere, but we still haven't found any leads. We logged everything in that book on the table. You keep searching. I'm returning to base for backup. Alright, sounds like a plan. Uh, press the objective button to view your immediate objectives. Alright. I believe there is a hidden object here. Alright. There we go. Uh, the faucet handle is missing. Is that what this is? Yes, it surely is. Fill it up with water. Don't know what I need it for yet. What do we got going? Oh, that is... That is hot. Uh, oh, can I put it out? Yeah, give me the mailbox thingy. I'm sure it's pretty hot, but whatever. <laughs> I guess I'll pretend it's not. What are you giving me? Bakery stuff? And, uh, ocean perfume. I don't know how the perfume ties in yet, but I'm pretty sure it has... It's probably a big deal, honestly. So, yeah. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, Brianna and I saw a strange beast standing upright on a rooftop. Uh, we took Chase, but lost him among the dark alleys. We're taking shelter until dawn. This morning, dark clouds have surrounded uh, Montefleur. Brianna discovered several books uh, mentioning the Queen of Sands, leader of the Sandmen, who can control dreams and nightmares. The Queen of Sands is real, and she attacked us. Uh, but <clears throat> but uh, aren't Sandmen uh, benevolent beings? Perhaps that beast has something to do with this. Uh, once the sun rises, we'll find him. Crap, yo. Okay. I have a feeling that, like, the beast is, like, a good creature, though. What could cause a quick, a quiet city like this to burst into chaos so suddenly? Evil sand ladies. Probably. Um, I would have to say it's evil sand ladies. Yep. 
90% sure it's Evil Sand Ladies. Alright. Oh, I already read the notes. Do we have everything in here that we can get for right now? Yep, I, I think so. Alright. Let's go ahead and move in. I guess we'll move over here because... You are here. Oh, you can't. Oh, oh, okay. You can travel. You just have to push an extra button. Got it. I could have just walked right outside, but I was like, whatever. I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm too extra lazy. Even though that would have been easier to do in the first place. Whatever. I. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. Let me put this in here. Is that a pumpkin? Leather. Leather pouch. It looks like it's shaped like a pumpkin, though. That's kind of funny. Okay. Let's see here. Can I open this? Oh, okay, cool. All right. Um, Baker Crest. All right. <clears throat> All right, gimme, gimme! All righty. No, that's not where that goes. Hum. Oh, no, I have the other one. What? Oh, it's open. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and end it here, guys, and uh, in the next one, we'll go into the bakery and hopefully see if we can go on further. Today, uh, we met an evil sand queen, the Red Riding Hood sisters, which is awesome. We're literally working with the Red Hot Riding Hood sisters again. Booyah! <laughs> Alright, guys. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna cut it there, and in the next one, uh, we will see the lovely sisters again and uh, hopefully find uh, Brianna, wherever she went. Yay! Alright, guys. So, uh, yeah. Like I said, uh, the next one, we'll definitely get into that. But I'm already pretty excited. This game is already beautiful, as always. Already got an interesting line going on. It's just mysterious enough that I can't really, like, guess it too much. Love that. Okay. So, you know, if you love my channel art, you can click on my adorable little tiny cow waifu who does all of my art and I'll see what she's doing. I think she is planning to do um, a, a painting video pretty soon, like just show people how she does her paintings and stuff. Um, I I'm not sure. We're both lazy people. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll find out. Anyways, and then also if you love my videos, help support me in doing so by just clicking on the Patreons of the Aunts and uh, seeing what you can give, seeing what you can donate so that I can continue to make wonderful content for you guys. Alright guys, I'm so excited to get into the next one. I'm glad I get to play all of this all at once. <laughs> I just uh, cut it into uh, bite-sized videos for you guys to digest. Also, it would just be a really long video if I just played it all the way through. Yeah. <laughs> and then I just wouldn't have content to post. Sad face. Anyways. Alright, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Uh, and, uh, you know, just um, keep being you. Maybe just not turn a whole town into nightmares. It's horrible. Don't do that. It's scary. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>